we need to solve a 1D unsteady conduction problem in ANSYS. Um, let's start by reviewing the mathematical model we are given, and then I'll uh, give you some tips on how to input that into ANSYS. The problem is given in non-dimensional terms, and that's the non-dimensional version of the, um, of, of the heat equation. Um, and theta is a non-dimensional temperature, T is a non-dimensional time, and X is a non-dimensional coordinate. And this is, um, there's only variation in, in the X direction, so it's a 1D problem. And X goes from zero to one uh, because of the non-dimensionalization and at the left, at x equal to zero, you have this boundary condition, which is imposing uh, symmetry. So it's a symmetric slot, and we are modeling only half of the, of, of the slot. And at the right, you have a convection boundary condition, and again, couched in, in non-dimensional terms, and bi is the bo number. The, there's no variation in, in this direction, so there are no boundary conditions at this boundary or this boundary. And uh, because this is a time varying problem, this is an initial value problem. So you not only need boundary conditions, you need initial conditions. And initially we assume that the temperature, uh, the non-dimensional temperature theta is one everywhere. And so answers is, we'll solve the problem for you, but in, in the dimensional form. And um, so the dimensional version of the, um, the heat equation that ANSYS will solve by default, let me write that down. So it's rho C, C dt dt uh, derivative uh, of temperature with respect to time is equal to K d squared t dx squared, and ANSYS is going to solve this in, in 2D. Um, so we have the, the derivative with respect to y2, and we need to make sure that that is, is zero. Um, so the given problem is 1D, and in ANSYS you can solve 2D or 3D problems. We'll solve this as 2D. And to make the governing equation look like that, uh, what we will do is we will choose the uh, constants in the governing equation to be one, and this is an SI unit, so rho we will set to be one kg per meter cube, that's the density. Um, the specific heat, again, we will set to be one, and SI units, and I'll, I'll ignore the units in the interest of time, and k is also equal to one in SI units. Um, so if I do that, if I set these constants to be one, um, which are material properties, um, this equation looks like that except for this extra term, and I'll get to how to make sh sure that that's zero. And we'll solve this over a rectangle. Now the width of that rectangle has to be one because that of the non-dimensionalization. The height is arbitrary because there's no variation in, in, uh, in this direction, in the y direction. And this boundary condition um, and this boundary condition, I have shown how to implement this in my EDX course in the in the two D conduction steady conduction tutorial. So if you go to my EDX course, a hands-on introduction to engineering simulations, make sure that you have gone through the two D steady conduction or two D conduction um, exercise before you attempt the, um, this particular problem. And you can find this course by going to edx.org and searching for answers. Okay, um, and then the, you need to also, since you're solving it in 2D, we need to also put boundary conditions at the top and bottom, and I will set that to be um, dt dy equal to zero, and the bottom also dt dy equal to zero. And if I set both these boundaries um, to have zero gradient of temperature in the y direction, what will happen is you'll get no variation of temperature in this direction, and essentially that's the way you zero out that term, okay? So everything looks like this, and the only thing that's left is the initial condition, and so we just set t everywhere at uh, time equal to zero, 
to be one and in ANSYS everything's uh, dimensional so it'll be one degree Celsius. If you do this the dimensional problem looks um, like the non-dimensional problem and you can interpret um, the T that you get from ANSYS to be um, theta. Next I'll give you some tips on how to input this problem into ANSYS. Um, that's coming up.